Hey guys, it's me Ubed, and today we will see how we can use LiveKit and plus OpenAI to create any voice agent we want. Why we are using uh, LiveKit? Because if you see uh, here in the OpenAI document, which is their official document for uh, real time API, they uh, talk about LiveKit integration because they don't even recommend to use their actual service or like infrastructure for for production environment for your uh, voice agents because that is just uh, they want you uh, to use their core functionality but not their infrastructure right so that's why we have this live kit integration and uh, it works on web rtc infrastructure which is better than web hooks uh, the uh, original web socket infrastructure which uh, OpenAI use okay so uh, that's why we are seeing the usage of the live kit now what we want to build is something like a chatbot let me show you here so this kind of chatbot where I can connect and I can talk to the uh, real-time API uh, with the live kit right and I can uh, switch it to my own instructions whatever I want okay before that if you are working on any custom project feel free to reach out on the mail or the whatsapp for the consultancy or the technical help or you can uh, schedule a call a one-to-one -one call where we can talk about your project okay let's see how we are doing this here now when you go to uh, Google and just search for live kit github real-time open AI API you will get this kind of link which is their playground for developing apps uh, on top of real-time API plus live kit so they will give you a kind of uh, playground or, or or like a structure on which you can build your systems right so there are two things uh, in this environment one is the agent one is the web web uh, web is our uh, front end the agent is our back end so um, if you if you just see my previous videos where I talk about open AI real-time react uh, application that is only a uh, front end and they don't have a dedicated back end where they are talking with open ai but uh, here we have a layer between front end and the back end and we can uh, utilize this you know structure and even uh, in the back end we have two options one is the typescript one is the python i use python a lot so i went with python version but you can figure out for typescript version as well now let me show you how the interface originally looks so when you go to this link where they are saying like we have a playground and you can test it in your browser this is how uh, the application or the playground looks like in the original form but we are not interested in uh, shipping this interface to our users or the end customers right we want to have it customized to our needs and make it i don't know something similar like this uh, very simple to only your instructions are in the back end and uh, the end customer is talking to your chatbot it can be your business it can be anything right so yeah uh, that is what I will show you in the code now let's go to code I just cloned that repository and to run this there are two commands so first uh, let me also show you how I have run this yeah, so this is the uh, front end or the web interface. 
so you have to go to that directory web and the command will be pnpm dev and even they are also specifying in the github how you can run this so just go to the web uh, directory and copy your uh, variables which are very simple you just have to go to this file env.sample uh, copy it create a new file env.local I will not show you because that will uh, expose my credentials but you will just go to there and uh, copy this file and replace this with your credentials and how you can get it you can just go to live kit uh, settings and get your keys from here they will just uh, like set you up in no time okay once you have done that then what you can do is just pnpm install and then pnpm dev that will run your front end in your browser just like I have done it so I am in web I have run pnpm dev and I got this local server through this I can uh, access my application now this is only the front end now let's see for the back end so this is python back end I'm using so all of this I was talking with the AI yeah so okay 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 so this is the instruction just the default one okay where it is yeah so this is the command for running the backend python playground agent dot py which is this file here and dev that means we want to run the dev version so you will just run this command they will ask you to set some environmental value uh, variables if you haven't specified it in your uh, environment so just go with that and that will be exactly these things so nothing complicated okay now uh, what we want is to customize the interface so just go to web and then source these are all the components which are being used now let me show you how I have done this so when I go to uh, app I have this layout and this layout is rendering the children whatever is coming from in the page I have my main application home page which is uh, this one uh, where it is this one right now this is the configuration settings now if I just go to here what I have done is I have uh, so this is LK which is live kit this is authentication uh, which is this part so this logo and this part so if you just comment this out it will automatically remove get removed from the interface and you can just write something of your own right now the same thing went with the footer I don't want footer so I just comment it out right so this footer uh, which is this one right here now let's say I remove that comment you will see the footer will get back so if I just go here, here, here yes Okay, make sure our okay, so we get our footer back, but we obviously don't want it, so I will just comment that out. Now, similarly, you can change these boxes to some other colors if you want. I I wanted to give it a shape of or a look of messenger, so I just uh went with this color scheme gray and blue 
but what you can do is go to that component and this component is the transcript component so just go to that one and here you can change it right so maybe from blue to go to green these are all just tailwind classes right so you can see it is now green so <laughs> that's how you can just like remove all the things or modify all the things you want in your interface and customize all of that right now let me show you how you can uh, define your own instructions for the uh, for your agent right for your voice agent you have to go to uh, the backend of your application which is the Python playground and when you go to here the instructions this is where you can where uh, tell your instructions uh, okay so the here is your open ai uh, key obviously it is not exposed thanks to word wrap but instructions is here you can define it right write everything you want uh, you can make it multi string and yeah something like that yeah and like write everything you want to make sure it acts according to your instructions right and you can play around with the voice also okay and also these parameters like the temperature or the noise parameters right uh, for these ones so prefix padding threshold silence everything you want uh, to play around just change the values right or even like uh, create this parameter config file where you can like put all the values and then use it okay so that was it for this video I hope you will get the system uh, working for your use case uh, okay I will meet you in the next video thanks for watching